Alright everybody, Gnome Joel's back, and today the uh, Felician had made like a gameplay reveal for Saints Row Reboot. As you can see, it's called Saints Row Welcome to Santo Alesso, a developer update. So I haven't really seen this full video yet. I've seen like a second of snippets, but pretty much avoid spoilers and gameplay just so I can get like a fresh reaction out of it. This is the first time I'm seeing this video and the gameplay for it. So everything you hear is fresh reactions. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, I'm Bryce Charles and I voice the boss in Saints Row. One of the actors for the Why boss. Why standing out here in the desert? It's customizable character. It's because Saints Row is all new, with a brand new location in the American Southwest with all new characters to discover. Join me and the Volition team as we take you on a tour of a whole new world for the Saints. Welcome to all Santo right. Aleso. Turn that down a little bit. Oh shit. There's Volition. Saints Row franchise has existed and done so many amazing things. Where do you go from there? It's kind of hard to figure out. Naturally, we look at all the things that we've done in the past. But the more we did that, the more we started to discover that we we're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the studio. If we were to zoom out a little bit, I mean, sure have. For this project, Aegis Mahan was it's sucked. Making the best Saints Row game we've ever done weren't really expressing what this game needed to be about. We knew we wanted to get a fresh sort of perspective coming in, and we tried to bring in a lot of new faces into it. And that's really helped us with what we've done. And that's when the concept really dove in that we need to reboot Saints Row. If this is a Saints Row game, it's got to be open world, right? Of course it is. And all the crazy sandbox action happens out here, in and around the weird old setting the southwest yeah, has I, want, I want to see like gameplay of it says the color you're thinking of that red rock you're thinking of that sand and that's the gameplay the iconic sunset so far the little, this looks imagery, good rich in culture rich I mean, in light here i mean in history. sky it's that looks pretty cool incredible city motto which is keep santo strange keep it strange fits like a glove it was practically tailor-made for saints row embrace your weirdness embrace your identity and revel in it Right. Now we get the heart of our tour. The Saints themselves. Who are these four friends? Who come together, take a chance on each other, and create a criminal empire of their own. We've created a set of characters that you're going to want to invite in your living room every day. No. I wouldn't want you hipsters going in my the house. The boss is brash. <laughs> so the best part is that the boss is you. Sort of a charismatic murder machine. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. You know, Eli. He wants to build something special. Prefers hostile takeovers to open hostilities. Did As I do that? I don't like wasting money. I really like Nina. Her way of thinking is really family oriented. An obsessive gearhead and just the best getaway driver. Yeah, these characters are too young to be Badass. Saints Pro characters, to be honest. Kevin I get the direction of going for it, but Kevin is sure someone hired someone young, older Kevin than that. Wants to be a TV chef. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. This reset let us add part in a big way, and that's like the number one thing about this game. 100% they're relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from all the time. <laughs> so I made them watch while I broke their dads. Ah, oh, shit. But who would our bad guys be without the even badder guys? My name is on the goddamn. And they're gonna talk about Marshall customization. Is an international corporation. So I feel they like they should be doing that right now, right? Here in Santo Aliso. They are strategic assassins. They've got high tech, bleeding edge technology, and they're designed to secure and lock you down. In contrast, oh, Pantera is all about muscle and physical power. They're part of the soul of Santo. They're tough and brutal, and they favor melee oh, attacks. Oh, damn, I can't actually, like, dodge. With full force. That was never even happened in Saints Row before. Messing with so that's pretty much a new feature. Then there's the idols. The idols are something completely different. 
They're self-styled anarchists. They see themselves as icons in a new world order. They're a cult of personality, and what they lack in combat sophistication, they make up in numbers, and so they try to swarm the player. All right, that's cool. Plus. Okay, so let's talk about the talented team of creatives at Volition that brought this reboot to life. What are some of the things they're most excited for us to see, play, and experience? I mean, they should talk about customization because that's like we one of the things that people want to talk about the most. With discovery that each of our players can feel included in. Our character team and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're making your character the way you want to. You're building your criminal oh, okay, that's the way better. you want to. You're earning money the way that you want to. That was All brief, that but that was together cool. together leads to the philosophy of being self-made. It is this weird combination that I don't see in any other games out there of humor, of over the top, and of badass. We're wanting you to just be in the moment and have that experience. And the experience that we're having is just BS and have fun with it. So that means next step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. They're the kinds of choices that I can make and the way that I can play the game. And then most importantly, leveraging the experience of volition, creativity that we have with trying new things out and then having this open world where we can realize that. I think it's made for a really exciting game with Saints Row. We started this journey searching for the new Saints. And where we got to is... I don't want to watch all of that. Probably would be pointless. Well, to be honest with you, that kind of like reduced all the concern I had with the games a little bit. Sure, they could have like gotten like more details on the customization and shit and all that stuff, but so far, what I saw here was a lot better than what they showed in the CGI trailer. That CGI chair was so misleading. Like, I don't really know what to say. I'll admit from my past video, I was kind of like getting out of conclusions too much. I feel like people were just being skeptical or overwhelming, all that stuff. But in that from that trailer, they had every right to be concerned or upset. Because that was that trailer was so whack. Now I'm not too sure how they're gonna react to the gameplay trailer or developer update, whatever it's called. But as far as I'm concerned, this isn't that bad. This actually, like, this kind of, like, reduces kind of, like, all, some of my concerns I have. But I still need to see more, though. I may pre-order the game, but I still need to see more from this game. Hopefully the next couple months and the next couple weeks, Volition will start going time to time how this game will work. All that stuff. But let's just hope for the better. Oh, actually, let me see. Let me double check on the customization part real quick. Character team and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're oh, okay, like I can actually, yeah, that is the characters can change back your again. Character the way you want to, you're building your okay, like that seems like lots of potential actually. But hold on, let me slow this down a little bit, turn the music off. Oops, I print too fast, damn it. Hold on, here. Oh, fuck, I went too far. Okay. Okay, something like Saints Row 3, you know, right? But a lot more fans and shit. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, these are the problems that you can buy all throughout the game. Because I know, like, Felicia said that it's going to be, like, a lot more flexible version of Saints Row, all the other Saints Row games, as far as I'm concerned. Even though this is a rebooted version with no of the original characters. Which I agree was a big missed opportunity in my opinion, but so far this actually looks a lot better than the CGI trailer as far as I'm concerned. And hopefully this will reduce any concern that this game has. But it's still early. They shouldn't show a whole lot of gameplay, but as far as I'm concerned, this looks decent so far. A lot better than the CGI trailer. So if you guys like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video I do. Follow me on Twitter. And hope you have a good day. Bye.